Hello friends. Recently I passed my D100 exam. That is exam by Microsoft for being a data analyst associate. How did I achieve this? What was the exam pattern? What are the necessary questions that we should consider before appearing this exam? And everything else about this exam. If you want to know, stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Now the very first question comes in our mind whether I should appear for this exam or not. Well that depends. If you are already in the BI field and you have more than two years of work experience and also you are planning to work on Microsoft tools then definitely you should go. Recently according to Gartner which always provides the ranking for different tools in software industry they ranked it number one as the Power BI tool for the data visualization and business analytics so definitely you should go for that however if you are just a fresher out of college just getting out of college and you are starting your career then I would suggest you should wait at least for one one and a half year so that you can understand this tool you can learn about this and with your experience only you should go for this Now the second question comes, what was the exam pattern? Well, you should know that the exam total duration is 3 hours, that is 180 minutes. And the total number of questions in these exams are gonna be somewhere around 55 to 56, that can go 1 or 2 above and below. And now, there would be two major case studies in this exam, so you should be aware about there are like four to five questions in each case study so read it very well otherwise you may miss those questions and also once you finish your case study question and answers you cannot go back so once you submit that's final you cannot change any answers or you cannot go back and lastly if we talk about the difficulty level then i'll say it's somewhere from medium to the expert level if you have experience then well and good otherwise it can be difficult for you topics that came in the exam or that usually comes in the exam then first of all you should have a very good knowledge about how to load the data in that the m query also comes into the picture there are two to three questions about the m query how to read that m query code or how to make the changes in the m query code secondly comes about the data modeling the different relationships between the table how you would make the relationship if there is some relationship is missing how would you achieve that how to achieve two relationships with one table etc now the third point is that we should know rls that is row level security in the raw level security you will generally ask again three to five questions so you should be aware about that then it comes to the DAX data analysis expressions you should be well aware about it because those are definitely the expert level questions so you can expect around three to five questions in this section apart from that there are general questions from the workspaces or how would you upload your report into the power bi services how you can share with the other people likewise so those were the very important topic that you should always remember while preparing for the da 100 exam now let's talk about the skills measured in this exam the very first skills as i mentioned earlier like how you load the data or how you edit the data do the massaging of the data and all so that is the prepare of the data that would be around 20 to 25 percent weightage of this exam so you can guess around 10 to 13 questions can come in the in this area the second one is that how to model the data in this data modeling part you can again expect 25 to 30 percent of the uh, total weightage of the exam question so that would be around 10 to 15 questions can come from this section the third one would be how to visualize the data 
again 20 to 25 percent the weightage would be the from the exam the number of questions so you can expect 12 to somewhere about 12 to 13 questions in this area and then comes analyzing of the data how you are analyzing you between the different visuals and charts and how to do that then the last is deploy and maintain the deliverables like how you are going to share with the colleagues how you are going to maintain the security or how you are going to configure the data gateways and all and in that you can expect around three to five questions so that's how this total exam pattern goes and just remember that first question probably would be on the case study so you will get around four questions then you would get around 47 questions in general where you can go uh, back and forward and you can change the options then last would be again the case study so prepare well from these topics now let's talk about where you can find the study materials how you can prepare for this one so well microsoft offers two types of trainings one is instructor led training which is a paid training you can pay for that and you can study over there second thing is the edX on edX they previously used to provide a course for analyzing and visualizing the data over there and then it was free to study but if you need some uh, certifications from the edX then they need to charge 99 usd nowadays if you just want to study that course you can go there you can register yourself on edX and you can start studying the power bi over there thirdly microsoft also provide uh, documentation for the training program for this certification so you can go there and you can check also i'm going to provide you both of the links in the comment section lastly there are certain uh, educational websites who provide the different practice exams like udemy and there is the coursera and all so you can also check them if you need to spend more time on the practices or uh, practicing on the exams and all so you can go with that however if you are already working in this area for the last two three years then i'm sure by just going through the study materials and all you can clear it lastly let's talk about the exam fee so this exam is gonna cost 165 usd plus the gst according to the country where you are and it's cheaper in some countries and it's more expensive in some other countries for example in singapore it's gonna cost 176 sgd plus the gst which is gonna cost about you around 188 singapore dollar and definitely in like countries like in india it's a bit cheaper so definitely you can go over there and you can pursue that but definitely you should be in that country also i would like to tell you one more thing that there is some discount as well offered by microsoft for certain schools and universities so don't forget to check that out with all those information i hope you can really clear with this exam all those information that we discussed in this exam i i hope you really like it and it's gonna be very helpful for you in order to start preparing for this exam or getting clear only one important thing i need to discuss with you as i heard after 24th of september there is gonna be slight change in the exam pattern so please stay tuned with the microsoft website where you can find all these latest updates thank you so much for watching this video and best of luck for your future efforts mm -hmm.